Okay, it's Viking One here, and I'm back on the USS Iowa BB-61, and I'm going to show you some of the sights here on a battleship, and I'm going to start with the Armored Conning Tower, 04 Level Bridge. Okay, here's the conning tower. It has 17.3 inch armor plating and during a combat situation this is where the captain would be directing the ship during combat. That's why of course this is a World War II era battleship when there were kamikazes flying around, other battleships trying to sink it, other ships trying to sink it. So that's why the plating on this conning tower was 17 and a half inches. Alright, now I'm pointing my camera at the captain's chair. This area is called the navigation bridge. And you can see the windshields go all the way around so the captain could look out to the port side and the starboard side. This is the starboard side. And I'm going to give you the captain's vantage point from in front of his chair. So when the ship was training, this would be his vantage point or his viewpoint. He'd be watching the ship sail forward and watching the ocean and all the other ships all around him. Now we're in port right now, but there's, there's the channel that leads to the Pacific Ocean here in Los Angeles Harbor, San Pedro, California. So this is the vantage point of the captain that he would have as, as he's directing the ship during maneuvers, during fleet training exercises. I was on the USS New Jersey BB-62 during Westpac 89, Western Pacific Deployment 1989. And as I walk around the bridge, these windshields surround the 17 and a half inch armor plating conning tower. This is the port of Los Angeles, across the channel, <clears throat> cargo containers, the cargo cranes, there's a cargo ship sitting right there, but this is where the Iowa is uh, home port for the museum, right here. But across the way, back in the late 80s and early 90s, there used to be a naval station in Long Beach, and that's where the USS New Jersey and the USS Missouri was their home port, right across, right, right across the channel there. Maybe down a little further, but that's where those two battleships were. Now I'm on the port side of the conning tower, and you could see more equipment. This was built in the early 40s, so this is what a battleship looked like during World War II. There's the periscope. And once again, there's the ship's wheel to steer and navigate the ship. And I'll show you more equipment. Once again, there's the hatch on the port side, another thick hatch, right there. And this is equipment right behind the conning tower. Okay, now I'm going to go up a couple levels and show you R2-D2, the Gatling gun phalanx close-in weapon system.
Okay, this is R2-D2, or the close-in weapon system. And I'll show you the barrel of the Gatlin gun as I walk around it. Okay, there's the barrel of the Gatling gun. And there's the radar. And this is what this thing does. The Seawez Block Zero unit is a high speed, 20 millimeter, six barrel, Gatlin type gun capable of firing 3,000 rounds per minute with the range of 2,000 yards. The velocity of the fired round is approximately 3,600 feet per second. SeaWiz contains a closed loop microwave radar system that can track the firing of its own bullets to the target. Bullets were made of depleted uranium. Approximately 1,000 rounds are stored in the gun itself and thousands more are stored in the ready service lockers under each mount. And there it is, the sailors called it R2-D2. Now this is the Sea Whiz on the starboard side. We're towards the front of the ship or more towards the front midship. There's another one on the other side, and I'm gonna show you that one also. Okay, here's the other Sea Whiz. What it is, it's an anti-missile defense system. So if a missile comes in fast, the radar would pick it up, and the Gatlin gun would fire all those bullets and take out the missile. So that's just one of the missile defense systems on an Iowa-class battleship. I'm gonna show you another one shortly. The acronym for this missile defense system is called SIRBOC, S-R-B-O-C. And then here's where they're located. Once again, I'm on the port side of the ship right now. Here's, here's another part of the SIRBOC, S-R-B-O-C anti-missile defense system and what SIRBOC stands for and I'm gonna get a better view of these S R B O C stands for Super Rapid Bloom Offboard Chaff Launchers these are short-range mortars that launch chaff or infrared decoys. So a missile would be coming in, the mortar would fire off the chaff or an infrared decoy, the ship would steer away, and hopefully the missile would follow the chaff and not hit the ship. That's the idea with this missile defense system aboard an Iowa-class World War II era battleship. Okay, now I'm pointing my cell phone camera at another missile defense system. That is called the Slick 32. SLQ 32. There's one there, and there's one on the port side. This is the starboard side, Slick 32, SLQ. This is an electronic warfare system on the O11 level. This is a powerful jamming device to fry an incoming missile's guidance system. So when this, when the Slick 32 opens up with its radar or with its jamming device, it'll, it'll point it at the incoming missile or in the sky as the radar picks up incoming missiles and, it'll, and, it, and it will jam the guidance of the incoming inbound enemy missile and hopefully the missile would not reach the battleship.
that's the idea. Once again, Slick 32, SLQ 32, Electronic Warfare System. Anti-missile defense system, there were three of them. You got Slick 32, Sir Bok, Super Rapid Blue Moth 4 Chaff Launchers, which I just showed you, and then the R2-D2. So those are the three defensive anti-missile systems aboard an Iowa-class battleship. Okay, I'm standing above, on a deck above the navigation bridge. And once again, this is a view of the front of the ship, or the fore of the ship. ship. There's the 16-inch guns. And there's a communication device way down in the front near the anchors, or where the winches are that pull up the anchors. So once again, this is another fantastic view of a battleship one deck above the navigation bridge where the captain is directing the battleship when we're out at sea. Okay, and here is a better description of the Slick 32. The AN slash SLQ 32V3, referred to as the Slick 32, is an electronic suite that provides support and countermeasure protection against incoming missiles, ASM, and it is still used by the U.S. Navy. Iowa's Slick 32 antennas appearing as cabinets are located at the top of the superstructure on the O11 level. Slick 32s are able to pro provide detection, identification, and the direction of enemy fire by locking on to the ASM's own targeting and terminal guidance radar. They also possess electronic attack jam jamming capability. All right, that's the Slick 32 once again. Very important missile defense system. There's the periscope on the conning tower. More radar, but actually the Slick 32 is right there. This is a picture of it, and as I pan my camera up towards the superstructure, it's near that red flag that's Wavering, waving in the wind, right there. That's the Slick 32. Okay, I talked about the defensive weapon systems aboard a battleship. Now let's talk about the offensive weapons. There they are, the 16-inch guns. The main battery of the Iowa-class battleships are the 16-inch guns. And I'm pointing my cell phone camera right at him. Okay, this is a formal name of the 16 inch guns. I gotta find my notes. Okay, it's a Mark 7 16 inch 50 caliber gun. The 16 inch guns can fire lighter shells which weigh 1900 pounds up to 24 miles away. The heavier shell, AP Mark 8, can reach its target about 13.7 miles away. The arc All right, they just announced the ship is closing down in 30 minutes. Okay, so once again, the heavier shell, 
the armor piercing shell AP Mark 8 weighs 2700 pounds and you can fire it from the 16 inch guns about 13.7 miles so there they are 16 inch guns More navigation equipment right above the captain's chair in the navigation bridge. This is one deck above. This is old school navigation equipment. Sixteen inch guns. Here comes an incoming ship. A cargo vessel. There's the channel. Once again, this is a conning tower. There's a periscope of the conning tower. Signaling device. Once again, that's the conning tower. And I'm walking towards the aft of the ship. I'm gonna go towards the five inch gun turrets, which are very close to the R2D2. A couple couple decks below okay here's the five inch guns there's the turret and during World War II these guns were so effective against anti incoming and fighters that would attack the battleship they were really effective they were able to destroy a kamikaze with the five inch gun shells and let me explain some of the details about this gun. Okay, this is what we called a Mark 12 5 inch 38 caliber dual purpose naval gun. It was used as an anti-aircraft weapon during World War II. Also used in a surface-to-surface -surface roll against smaller ships. In other words, it could fire its guns at smaller ships, enemy ships, to sink them or disable them. The 5-inch guns have a 10-mile range for shore bombardment. The shells fired by the 5 inch gun weigh about 55 pounds. They come in many varieties for specific missions. And look at this Yang Ming cargo, cargo ship with all the uh, metal cartons, metal containers attached to it. So this is the port of Los Angeles. There's a tugboat. Going that way is the Pacific Ocean, and just look at that, what a fantastic sight. Okay, those are the five inch guns, and I'm gonna pause this. All right, there's the 16 inch guns. I'm gonna walk around the turret. That's the armor piercing shell. What's the range? 13 miles? Uh, 24 miles. On this one too? Yep. All right, I was mistaken. This one can be fired 24 miles. That's the armor piercing round. And here's the lighter round. Hundred and ten pound gunpowder bags. That is what propels these big shells in the 16 inch guns. Amazing. And this is what the battleship is known for. These right here, the 16 inch guns.
All right, Viking One, a Viking One Expeditions, former battleship sailor aboard the USS New Jersey BB-62. I hope you enjoyed the offensive and defensive weapons that I showed you during this tour. Have a good day. Goodbye.